Hey everyone and welcome back. I am the part-time economist and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I changed the internal battery pack in my HP Pavilion Power 15 series laptop. Now these are some older computers. There's not a ton of tutorials out there so that's why I'm making today's video. But before we get into it I want to give a couple disclaimers. Number one if your battery looks like this and I don't know how well you can see it in the video but if it has these huge bulging pockets you probably should consider getting it replaced because this can be dangerous to your computer. It can push components into places they're not supposed to be and it can also pose a potential safety risk. So we definitely want to get this replaced. But speaking of safety risks, you are going to be opening up your computer for this process. You're going to be dealing with batteries, electronic components. So if you're not comfortable doing this, feel free to reach out to a professional. And if you do insist on doing it yourself, just make sure you're being careful wearing the appropriate protection such as eyewear. With that being said, I'm going to show you in today's video how I changed my battery pack. Alrighty, so the first thing we need to do is go ahead and pull off the rubber feet near where the hinges are for our screen because underneath these rubber feet we do have a little screw that we have to pull out before we start the disassembly. So at least on my model there are two screws and again those are both where the hinges are. After we go ahead and pull off those rubber feet you're going to see an additional five screws around the case of the computer. Um, I've done this so many times and replaced so many things on my computer that I'm missing a few screws so you shouldn't try to lose one but if you do lose a screw throughout this process it's not exactly the end of the world. Also I would recommend using a tool to lift up the feet. You can use your fingernail, a plastic guitar pick. You don't really want to use a screwdriver like I'm doing because it could scratch your case. Again I've worked on this computer so much that it's already pretty scratched up. Now. After we get all of the screws out, what we want to do is we want to just gently turn over the computer, make sure we have a mat, something like that to catch the screws. If you have some kind of something where you could pull out the screws, that's totally fine also. And now we're going to separate the case. So you can see here there is a little crack. Yours probably won't have that. It's going to be a nice even seam. But what you can do is you can get either your fingernail or you can get a plastic guitar pick, even a credit card, just slide it around the outside of the case. You will hear it cracking and popping. Um, you're not breaking it, it's just breaking those seals loose and kind of getting out of those little things that hold it together. Just a quick tour, we have the fans for the computer, we have the original hard drive in the computer, we've got memory sticks which I did upgrade. On the right hand side we do have our Wi-Fi, our basically internet card and the antenna. On the left we have got a supplementary hard drive and then of course the battery at the back which is going to be what we're replacing today. There are four screws at the top of the battery and again we're just going to go ahead and unscrew these. One thing I would suggest is make sure before you start this that you touch the frame of the computer. You can see how I'm kind of making sure that my hands are on the frame and this is just grounding my electricity so that I'm not going to get any static into the computer. We're going to go ahead and pull this battery out. You might be able to see in the video that it is kind of bulged, which obviously is not a good thing. That can damage your components if it swells up and pushes them out of place. To install the new battery, we're actually going to start at the back. So there's some little protrusions and hinges. We're going to kind of slide it in from the back and then push the front down so that it contacts the battery terminal. Now, once we have it in place, we're going to go ahead and start screwing the screws in. And what I did is I did each screw just a little bit at a time because I didn't want to try and force anything. So if you're doing this and the screw feels like it's really hard to get in, or if it feels like it's just spinning around and not catching the threads, you probably don't have it done right. So again, go slow, don't force anything, and remember to rock the battery in from the back and then gently slide it down to the front. I'm just finishing tightening up some of these screws here and then once we get everything tightened we're going to get the case back and it's quite simple to get it back on the computer. We're just going to lay it on top, make sure everything is lined up and then we're going to just gently start pushing till we hear it again snapping and popping back together. Again as long as you have it lined up you're not breaking anything it's just the way it goes. 
it's popping into those little joints that hold it together. Go ahead and put the screws back in in reverse order and that's pretty much it for replacing your battery. So as you can tell from the fact that I am recording and editing this video, I made it through the process of changing my battery without sustaining any injuries and obviously the computer is up and running and working again. So I hope this video was useful. I did the best I could with the camera angles and stuff like that. Again, if you don't feel comfortable doing this, feel free to reach out to a trained professional because at the end of the day, your health and safety is worth more than saving a few bucks. As always, I do appreciate you watching the video. I hope you found it useful and I'll see you next time.